<laughs> That's a good spot to pause the video. Ha -ha. Hey, speaking of which, hmm, uh, I, I remembered now that I forgot. Hmm? Do I know any of Krognax? Oh, Dude. shit! Right. Okay, I'm gonna bring because I made a list of things you wanted to roll for. Uh, roll good. me religion. I'm so good at these that I'm just gonna knock this out. Okay, the you say that every time, but then it works. See, you didn't roll too badly. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was that, and also uh, bets on which one of us would die amongst the squad. <laughs> No, 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 no. It was if anyone had a bet on Soros Ebonheart dying in oh, the capital. Oh, that. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you roll. Roll me one to one hundred. Get a 12. Come on. One. Get a 12 on this one. That'd be funny. Uh, 21. Almost. The numbers are there. Yeah, the one and it's or two and a one. Whatever. Yeah, so I'm probably dead. <laughs> uh, yes. What was that? What was the half-blooded child of Ebonheart? Soros. I've heard he's taken up an adventuring lifestyle. <laughs> Why do you laugh? He's an adventuring lifestyle? Surely you have to know the implications. True, but... He'll probably go back home. Wanna bet? Deal. Sure, Death so or cowardice? It were the two bet conclusions. Wow. Sounds right. Walk into the capital. Checks out. There's no happy <laughs> ending there. What happened? Oh, nothing. No. We're trying... To... Stuff that isn't relevant to you guys. Technically. Is it the bet they made with SARS if you survive? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it Somebody certainly won. <laughs> I mean, not really yet. Just don't mention it to anyone. Yeah. I mean, my public eye, he died, I guess. So, uh, yeah, on the matter of including yourself in a scene, it's not that hard. Slip in there. <laughs> Obviously, if you aren't sure... Haha, very funny, lewd. If you aren't sure that whether or not you as a character should or would be present, just ask. And then we'll be like, eh, it just sounds a bit far-fetched that you're suddenly around versus, like, no, yeah, it makes sense that you're there. So, if you want to talk, go ahead. It's not that hard. Anyways. You had a scene. Cheddar yeah. Man. Uh, where does Care sit in the cart normally? Okay. As far back as I possibly fit. <laughs> Alright, fair you enough. You can sit literally sense. on, like, the step that leads into the back of the cart, so. That's probably unsafe. Anyways. Uh, Chandler would probably come up to you and just hand you one of the potions she just made. The awkward uh, sign of affection. I think I like you, Rady Baka. What color? It's <laughs> what red. Color? It is red. Okay. I, um, I'm good, thanks. I... You don't look that good. Thanks. Ouch. <laughs> I think like a few seconds later Trevor would be like, oh, that was fucking insulting, wasn't it? <laughs> Marshall just on his on his yak, just like, <laughs> yeah, like right on the side and you're just like <sighs> <laughs> I just <laughs> You can move, you're fine, but you're still achy and sore. <laughs> Physically you might be okay. But Yeah, I know, I get it. <sighs> how I, are you I feeling? See. Bad? Yeah. Why? I mean, I, I put my sleeve down and I feel like the wounds from, from the fucking thing hold me and it's like, I mean, it hurts pretty bad. Eh. It's kind of what this life entailed. You'll be fine, don't worry. Sure. Um, thanks. As somebody who is experienced with death, and she pulls up her own sleeve to show, like, like basically a hole that was once through her forearm. <laughs> like a spike went through there, basically. Uh-huh. A, a spike, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not a stinger. No, actually, that was it is a different story. But the stingers are on the back. Uh, <laughs> I imagine they got through, like, your entire body and pierced the rest probably. of you, too. You'll be fine. We're here. You're fine. It's not easy. But she'll be fine. Don't worry. Uh, 
I also, mean, hmm? we almost died, like, right there. Dance. Yeah, it's scary and concerning, to say the least, but we're fine. Also, I don't know. Healing potions are kind of weird sometimes. How so? I mean, they just heal up your wounds. Are you never, like, worried about long-time cause effects? Not particularly. It doesn't... It patches up what's there. It's kind of... I don't know. It's like adrenaline in the system. It just does what it does real fast. It doesn't have very long-term effects. I know. I have a couple scars over here um, that I, like, healed up because I just got them, like, a week ago. So I'm just kind of worried about the long-term effects. Eh. This is faster for me to just say it. Uh, <clears throat> as we described way back in the past, back in the Hillens, Potions are long-term proper healing, as opposed to magic, which is rapid, I need this shit fixed now, damn the side effects later, healing. Okay. So potions are essentially just accelerated natural healing. Okay, is that, like, scientifically proven? Yes, considering how there's a maestro <laughs> of alchemy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's okay. That's, okay, then that's good, and that's like, okay, that's all I wanted yeah. to know. It's Second fun. question, is Shadomir's healing scientifically proven? Rude! <laughs> but yes. A good, a good jaunt, truly. The fact that he was at all means it means it, it follows the same fundamentals of potions, though. Yeah. Okay, also. <laughs> Peer-reviewed studies, y'all! Welcome to literally the entirety of the maestro. Okay. <laughs> Maestros, joint efforts to Cathartha lore, efforts in the Capitals Academies. <laughs> when you don't know how to comfort someone. Um, I, I take it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, also, for clarification, because Marshall actually brought this up. Marshall, come over here. <laughs> <laughs> he rides slowly backwards. <laughs> uh, I, I am actually good. I don't... I am, I'm not sad about it. I had a great time. No, I don't... I figured that, but I'm just trying to clarify for future so you don't accidentally drink poison. How's Shaq's doing? That is actually a good point. Mm. He's doing well. Okay, that's all I need to care about. Continue, Shadow Okay. I say this in character. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, so left side, she gestures to, like, the green vials. This is poison. Don't drink this. Well, toxins. Don't drink this. Or be injected by it. This side, right side with the red ones. This is fine. This is healing. You can drink this one or feed it to someone else. Just to make sure. She's like gesturing like vividly at each one and just like this one, this one, this one, this one. Are they in the same bottle, just a different color? Uh. Send, they're... send you a level one alchemist, yes. Yeah. They're, I, I imagine she just has like a variety of different bottles just because they're bottles she's collected over the time, but yeah. Yeah, but like there's no uniformity between toxins and <laughs> potions, that was a thing. Yeah, that's the problem. There's no uniformity between not all of them. <laughs> the, because they're, are, they're randomly collected. Hmm, fair. But here's the thing, I also imagine that the, the toxins ones are like a little bit thicker, like almost a syrupy, and the potions have like little bits of leaves and stuff in them. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's more differentiation. Is this clear now? <laughs> but why do you use poisons in the first place? Because it helps kill things? Look, we come from different aspects. You are an honorable person of battle. I'm a survivor. You are not. <laughs> wow. Yeah, fair. That's fair. Yeah. I was taught to do what I can to not die. You have some... Report. You have some... Nobility, I guess? I don't know, that's the wrong word. He's strong as fuck. I mean, yeah, but that's not what I was pointing towards. Speaking of not dying, Jedimir, eh? I say from the top of the wagon. Wait, who's driving? Oh wait, there's a... <laughs> <laughs> Dan was a fuck. Anyways, up front. What do you need to supply us with 
potion each, because if we take a beating like we did last night, it would be convenient if we all carried some. Uh, with that, Chenomir just kind of like glances off to the side and has like a bit of a distance there. It's like, this, this, this. I, yeah, I could do that. I wouldn't be able to make any toxins currently, but I can provide us each with a potion. Anything keep, keep in mind that the potions you provide only last until your next long rest. Yeah. They're a bit temporary. <laughs> what did you say, Fred? Anything that gets us back on our feet. Emergency usage and whatnot. You're not against healing as well, are you, Marshall? Why would I be against that? I don't. I didn't. I'm not a gla gladiator. I don't know the rules here. I mean, I would like to learn them, but like, yeah. Mm. Oh, mm, yes. <laughs> I'm trying. To, I'm trying to talk. Uh, you're doing good, and I pat her on the shoulder. What was that a nickname you threw at? Garf Chetamir in the chat. Yeah, like I know, but I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. <laughs> she's I'm building it up. <laughs> okay, right then maybe this is the point. That I'm just like, I well, no, you don't have to do it right now. I was, just actually, I was literally curious until they just scroll up. I think it was like Chemi yeah, or something. But I think it's I think it's a good point. So I just pat your shoulder and I'm just like, you're doing good, Chemi. Don't worry. Thanks. But did you just call me Chemi? Isn't that like a food? I, and I go back into my cart. <laughs> Uh, I guess the classic Vax, I walk away. <laughs> she like she like or, points or the Mass Effect Bioware games. Yeah. I leave. She she I points leave. after cares with her mouth open like she's gonna say something. It's like I'll just sure let not. that slide. Yeah. And she would also give a potion to Marshall and Aldrich. Ta-da. If if you want it to be a thing where you just make a number of potions and distribute one to the party. That is upon you to keep tabs on. Just yeah. so you know. We can't, I, we're not making a blanket statement rule of, I do it! Yeah, no, I, I'm keeping track of it, don't worry. So that I way you can't be like, no, I didn't do it, I made a toxin instead. No. I, I yell from inside the card, just like, but let's never go out without, um, be my again, please. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> God be praised. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or Navi. Y'all bitches need some Karem in your life. You <laughs> 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 need some Karem in your life. Anyways, that was my bit. I'm good. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Fair enough. Speaking of getting Seema, you guys, after a couple more hours of travel past the scene, are greeted once more at the sight of Sevlis. The spires are still in their state of alarm and alert. But uh, hey, Sevlis isn't burning down or anything, so go you. That we can see. That you can see. I checked oh, for yeah, fires. We have, <laughs> we have a card full of food, I forgot. You do have a card full of food. Which you guys are free to distribute as charitably or as profitably as you wish. Every single child I see gets like a two rations or something. Four yeah. gold. Four gold apiece, nerds. <laughs> Jeez. Give me your life no, savings. Wait, this is a monopoly. Much. We gotta jack it up. Ten gold apiece, nerd. I mean, every like I'm sitting at the back of the car with my feet dangling down, and every time I see a kid, I'm just like throwing them some food, like jumping down, giving them food, jumping back up, and continue doing that. Whenever that happens, uh, I I say from the cart uh, on um, the roof. Yeah. <laughs> on behalf of the seekers. Oh, I love uh, it. Propaganda yeah, at its finest. Right. <laughs> uh, one, one of you two roll me persuasion with advantage. One of you two, only one. Um, I have an eight plus. So I do as well. It doesn't matter. Ooh. You do it. Okay. Designate one person. Oh wait, no, no, no. Have alter no, so you can give him a bar. <laughs> no. Well, you have advantage. <laughs> I was gonna say have alter do it so you can well, give him a bar. You, know, yeah, you have advantage. Oh, I have advantage. Okay, so good. Thank God. One more. Don't roll with advantage. Just roll one more. Yeah, time. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh my God. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm giving you one of my inspirations. Thank you. I feel like yeah, we you... just need to let this one ride. And you, you roll again. I'll actually be surprised. 
This one you roll out of really? again. So. Yeah. Okay. So roll this with advantage. If you get four ones. Okay. 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 Much, much, better. much more statistically viable. <laughs> From the secret, y'all. It has a rock in it. <laughs> You're only giving it to kids that like the Slayers. <laughs> From the Seekers <laughs> handed to a Slayer. <laughs> Alrighty. From the to a Slayer. <laughs> uh, thanks. There's like needles in it. <laughs> oh. Some worms in it. <laughs> it's empty. It's just an empty bag. Yeah, it's like an empty bento box. Like, oh. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> Oh. Now I'm sad. I'm sad. Look at that. Two net ones. The worst day of my life. Good teamwork with the inspiration, then. So, uh... Again, we're not going to put out the net ones, because I don't think any of us want that. <laughs> you guys have to ride through this external uh, relocation camps, I guess is what we can call them. Not refugee camps, even though they are sort of refugees. Well, at least some of them. And again, Selfless, by, by all means, Selfless is not in any state like Weep as Wake, where it's been fucking starving. But that being said, it doesn't have a supply of food coming in at all. But the people that live here just store up. It's sort of like, how do this show? It's like um, someone that lived in the Great Depression in real life. There is a trait amongst all those people that they, like, even after the Great Depression, even after they become successful and financially viable, they still store food. They still stockpile it out of habit. Squirrel same deal way. with, same deal people in the Twins. They always stockpile food. So people aren't starving down here in Sevlis, even as successful as this place is. But again, fresh food and rations are much better than, you know, all the other shit. So, with a 24, uh, as you pass through this refugee camp, you obviously don't come in on, on the noble side of this relocation camp. You come in on the actual poor side of it. And there are a number of people who are... not eh, starving or malnourished, but they could definitely use a pick-me-up. And so as you guys ride through town... First, it's just one kid that gives you a look, and then you start... Whoosh, underhand... Hand, give it to him. And then other people begin noticing this, and then more and more people just begin. Yeah, like, it started with us doing it as we are driving, and then it turned into people just, like, being around us, and we're basically just walking while giving food out. Essentially. It gets to the point a couple of times where, like, they threaten to just strip crowd your cart, and then just stop yeah. you. But having two people with strong wrestling bitch faces tends to negate that, especially ones that are equipped to, you know, with weapons. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, it never gets to that point, but a, num a, not a crowd does form a perimeter of sorts around you. And then, you've been distributing food. It doesn't, with this, like, amount of people, it doesn't take very long for you guys to empty your stores. Oh, damn, alright. Yeah. Maybe we should hold off some for the town? No. Yeah, but we I can't say no now. Yeah, no, fair, yeah. It's like, sorry, no but more food, they could see a mountain back there. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like, there's, there's a kid, there's a pregnant woman, there's an old lady Keep doing starving. what you're doing, kids. doing the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> there's a number of people here, of all different sorts. Well, of course, at some point, you do have to start apologizing that you don't have any more. Some people are a bit hurt by it, but just due to your genuine and emphatic nature, they understand. And they weren't exactly the first ones to be here. So I'm a little bit hurt that they didn't get food, but they understand. Such is life. I give them all of my rations I have. They yeah, have the, I, I figure at some point, like, you start using your own rations. Okay. But again, like, you only have so many of your own rations as well. Okay, I'm down to zero food. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't do that. <laughs> Wait, what else do I have in my cart? Um... Uh, wait, is there anything you can eat? Uh, a marble piece? No. Uh, I have a tent. They don't need that. Um, I don't have anything else. Sorry. Do you need a torch? I have torches. <laughs> they don't need torches. Okay. Then I'm done. Sorry. She's trying, you know. 
How do we know Connor would believe we brought food back then? <laughs> uh, our very honest and genuine faces. I look directly at you. <laughs> Chetamir is unfazed and does not know why he is questioning this. <laughs> what? So oh. say of a liar. <laughs> I'm honest and genuine. <laughs> You say having lied to him twice now. <laughs> Would that technically be a third time then? <laughs> yes. Anyways, we should continue on before I make this grave even deeper. No, as I... soon as, as as soon as this all happens, I look at that potion and kind of sniff it a little. <laughs> to see if it's actually poison. It's <laughs> toxin. Very herby. If there's any hurt people out here for a hurt child. I would give them the potion that Chetamir gave me. Luckily, there are no really hurt people around. Okay, okay. Then, then I keep... Something the Slayers and Seekers have been doing is public, uh, health public care. healthcare. So Considering they're trying to <laughs> crush a disease. <laughs> fair, yeah. fair. But it was a nice gesture. <laughs> So, eventually you guys get through the relocation camp outside the walls and then enter through the wall gates and stuff like that into Sevlis proper. Place seems a lot more desolate. A lot more quiet. A lot more tense. Before it was flowed to the brim, some hustle and bustle. And make no mistake... There's still people moving around. I'm not saying this is a ghost town now. But in relative comparison to before, it's much less traffic. Are there, like, Seekers and Slayers walking around? There's Slayers walking around plenty. <laughs> what was it like before? Was it more like a balance between the two? Or was it just more prominent? Yeah. Ooh, that's interesting. Before, they were basically posted in the same spots in similar numbers. But two now it's two. prominently Slayers. Yes. And you see, as you guys enter through time, multi, like assorted things have been posted over, like uh, posted onto street lamps, posted onto uh, large, like flat walls, stuff like that, buildings. It's basically a notice from the Slayers that martial law is in order. There's a curfew that you should be getting home at sunset, and then people wandering around at night will be questioned. Stuff like that. Oh, and of course, if you find any suspicious people, report it immediately, and if you find any infected people, stay away from them and report it immediately. Noting where they are and where they've been. Ominous. These are public decrees and declarations. What the hell happened? Well, <clears throat> where's our people? Um... Yeah, let's go back to safe house. Yeah, let's go with the base camp. <laughs> the lightning strike think tank and creative solutions firm. Hey, do we have a coin to get back in? You guys had a token, yeah. Okay, cool. Just wanted to double check to see if we forgot. Uh, I believe you, though. You do that. I will. You know where I'm. <laughs> Don't get assassinated. But but I need the wood. Shit, we forgot to put it on the cart, didn't we? We did. Uh, yeah, what? You guys did strap it to the cart. Yes, we did. Yeah, you guys did. Okay, cool. Um, what did we strap to the cart? The iron. Yeah, we iron took wood. it out of the bag, broke it down a bit, and put it on the side of the cart. Yeah, so now on top of the cart, in sort of like a lumber pile, which you can still like climb on and upon and stuff like that, but is just a series of like five or some four foot long segments of the ironwood itself. Uh, you and Danaway want to head over there? With me. Oh, well, uh, you can just carry that. Okay, cool. I'll go with. Yeah, swing the party. I like what I'm hearing. <laughs> oh, um. When you're there, could you get me? So I bought some ore. 
Um, could you make like uh, make me a da- what did we say? Um, a dagger. Crossbow balls. Yeah, actually that too. Yeah. Crossbow balls. Yeah. Crossbow balls. And I give you the one pound of dark steel. Of course I will do that. Thank you. Shit, I had a thing too. Oh, it sounds as if you guys should all go there, huh? Should we just all go there? We. It sounds like we. Most of us have project to do uh, anyway. Okay, I'll put it to you like this. We could like, go the same collect isn't first. Directly on the way to Preston's house, but it is like okay. Let me put it like this. Let's, let's bust out the drawing board. Doodles. Yeah. Well, y'all go get Simon. Welcome to House Bellinger. Uh, <laughs> So I'm just gonna forget this bucket. So we'll make this. So you guys, let's say you are here on the red X, and we'll say Preston's place is this like yellow X. The safe house it will be like over here. So it's not directly on the way there. It's not like the straight line path from red X to yellow X, but it is okay. still within like. It takes like five minutes. Boom! Now I made a geometry question. Now with this, calculate how to take down the dragon. <laughs> Pythagoras the Ambitches. Pythagoras was a great ranger, okay? Leave him alone. <laughs> Holy shit. An ancient, like, Roman or Greece or whatever in setting where everyone's playing as people like that. Oh, fuck. I can see it now. He has his massive. It's like, it's like um, the giant in Dark Souls 1. Mm -hmm. The one that has, like, the big ass bow. He's doing it. He launches the arrow. A squared plus B squared. He aims up equals C squared. Psh, shoots the dragon out of the sky. Anyways, though. <laughs> If that's the case, I'll go to the safe house briefly, and then leave. You can pick up Tala. She might learn from the process of crafting. Yeah, you right. <laughs> you right. Yeah, you right. You right, you right. Alright, so we all good for this? Yo. Yeah. Good for heading back to the safe house on the A squared plus B squared <laughs> detour route. <laughs> Affirmative. <laughs> Don't you dare do that accent in my... <laughs> so... You guys head through town, back to the Lightning Strike Think Tank, and then you guys pull up and hop off. Dan always says to wave the stuff because obviously this is Ironwood, bot like to an un uninformed eye, and Tankwood just looks like lumber, but it is pretty like just by its natural appearance looks pretty not 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 weird, but a bit abnormal. I mean, there are probably burn marks at the beginning and end of each log. No, yeah, that's a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. So. Anyways, but like that sort of practice, like the use of using fire to break down big logs, isn't like a terribly uncommon thing. You know, mm. the twins. If you don't have tools to cut stuff with, bring a flamethrower. Well, it's more over just put a cinder on, like make a hole in it, put a cinder, and just let it roast for a while. Bring a flamethrower. Yes, because people just have access to flamethrowers. Thanks, Elon Musk, Chetamir. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I'm god, Chetamir space. is to Elon Musk. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> you guys are not like Mark Zuckerberg, you fucking <laughs> lizard boy. Anyways. Okay, though. getting distracted again. Yeah, anyways, though. So you guys had inside that uh, elderly, oh, she's not elderly, but middle aged matron lady is there. Still. Just, she doesn't even have a book. She doesn't even have a ledger or anything. She's just there. Chill she just smiles at you guys and then just holds out a hand again. Palm up. I probably have the coin, so I put it in her hand. Boop. On the token, and then she closes that hand, and with her other hand, just gestures to the doorway. At least, so. space wild, <laughs> the face space. Oh my gosh! Turn just says, like a little off. head nod and heads off. And you guys, I mean, follow soon after. Space wild. So you guys go down to the safe house doors, and then <laughs> it's locked again. Look who's bathroom. I want to. I, I want to open it. I would break your face. Could you? Ooh. Not with the punch we saw him throw in Strago. That is very true. <laughs> Ouch. What did you Who said? Who Wait, said I would punch? Six, Pavel, it's a great story. Seven. You're going to love it. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back. See you when you're in the room here. With your predicament. <laughs> oh wait, do we got you get a baby? I summon you, Terran, just to know you, that you know that you're muted. I had to like go through my phone to unmute myself. <laughs> I was like, had to go through three lock screens. It felt like. 
Excellent. Nice.